Hi guys, welcome back to All Things Electromechanical. Just want to demonstrate you here what I have built, a uh, automated can crusher. Once the Raspberry Pi boots up, it runs an auto script, a program that automatically starts crushing cans when there's product present. So what I'm going to do now is home the machine. And it just home, the photo I set the can, and it continues to crush. I'll leave the last can in there because of the height of the photo eye. It will only see that second can. And I can force it to crush that last can. Just block the photo eye as I'm a can. And it takes off. There it is. Just built this uh, wooden box to hold all the electrical components for the machine. We have our... Uh, pie with our um, breadboard that was glued to it then we have our LCD printout and a uh, four channel Saint Smart relay bus that's controlling the two uh, contactors to pull in the motor forward and reverse and the capacitor start for that and over here we just have our control center with a power disconnect okay, your main lead coming in strain relief for a 120 volt service coming in and um, your 5 volt power supply to run the Pi and antenna to uh, get in uh, through a v v VNC um, to wireless re uh, get in remotely with, the, with my phone or laptop uh, to manually control. So the home button that we're going to use in case we lose power and we go to start up and the the actuators in between proxies, not forward and not back, we can press this button and it will home to a, a retracting position and then uh, wait, wait for the next cycle to happen. And then this button will replace with our photo eye to, uh, for the product present. When cans are present, it'll start crushing cans and then the LCD will display waiting for cans or crushing cans. And one of my favorite parts about the panel is that it's magnetic. It's got these metal tabs on the back side and a, <laughs> a, a plastic uh, window so you can see the LCD and it just snaps on there. No hinges, nothing, it's all low, low voltage. Um, but no, no hinges or anything. Um, you just simply just pop it off and on. Uh, I thought that was pretty cool. Load another can. Okay, time to get welding. And here is the hopper finished to the unit. Go ahead and show you. Just got done finishing this. Got to, it's all tacked together. We just got to finish welding it up. But that's the counter pressure. Okay guys, here's the finished product. 
We've got our cans setting in the hopper. We've got a built stand. Use two by two steel. Some angle brackets that I bolted to it. Got a removal for the proximity switches. And I bought some nice two inch casters and bolted those to the frame as well. And now we're gonna install this panel here on the back side where I've drilled two bolt holes, tapped quarter 20. That's heck of a And so I've actually pre-holed two, pre-drilled two holes here. Um, we got some quarter 20 bolts picked up from Home Depot. We're gonna use those and some washers. Like I said, to bolt to the frame back here. And uh, uh, we're pretty much ready, just waiting on the photo eye. We can actually run it and cycle it, um, but uh, let's bolt that panel up and uh, get the uh, actuator moving. Okay, so here's another cool feature that I added to the machine. It's a uh, working LCD. I'm gonna go ahead and load these up. Into the hopper. Oops. Okay, so now you can see the cans are loading into the hopper. And now it's actually waiting for cans. So if I load cans, you can see it's switching from waiting for cans to crushing cans. That just finished the cycle. And once the can drops, it goes back to waiting for cans. And here is the thickness that we're crushing the cans to. And that pretty much wraps it up for this video. If you like this video, uh, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and check out some of my other videos that may be helpful. And as always, thank you for watching.